Hello, and thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. My name is Shannon, if this is your first time, and I want to welcome you to my channel. So I have a prophetic word from the Lord today, and that word is, this blessing comes with a sacrifice. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I know it doesn't um, seem to sound so pretty when you say this blessing comes with a sacrifice, because the truth of the matter is, as human beings, we don't really want to sacrifice anything. We don't really want any type of inconvenience. We don't want to have to give up something good or do something that is, is uncomfortable just to receive something. We want to be comfortable. We want to be happy all the time. We want to be joyous all the time. And I'm not saying that you're not supposed to experience those things. I'm not saying that at all because you will. Because the Bible says God has come that so that we might have life and life more abundantly. So that is what your portion is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But there are some things that come with a sacrifice. And God reminded me today. He said, Jesus was a living sacrifice. So when we say to God, I give myself away have your way in my life, in my marriage, in my job, in my ministry. We have to expect that there's going to be a sacrifice. We have to expect that because we are joint heirs with Christ. And many things that we go through on this earth, trust and believe me, honey, it's going to have to mirror the life of Jesus because you are a Christian, Christian. You are a Christian. Not saying that we are Jesus, but we have to um, resemble a lot of his ways, his character. And it's all for the greater glory of you or maybe for the, the greater good of someone else. It's a sacrifice. It's still a blessing, whatever it is that God has um, bestowed upon you with your, your marriage, your job, your ministry. But because this is the prophetic marriage ministry, I'm referring to marriage. This is a blessing for you. Whether you're waiting for the restoration of your marriage, if you're already married, or if you're waiting to be married for the first time or remarried to this new person, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, that God has said, this is your husband or your wife, you're going to be blessed. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be wonderful, but it's coming with a sacrifice. <laughs> and um, the Lord told me that many of you have been asking God, why does it have to be this hard? I didn't know the process was going to be like this. Um, why does it have to take this amount of time or if you're already married or if you're, um, you know, just stepping into your marriage or just stepping into a romantic relationship with the one that God has said is going to be your husband or your wife, you may still be experiencing a little bit of turbulence. But God is saying the blessing comes with a sacrifice. And, and also there are um, there's a there's a process to all of this. There's a process to this kingdom marriage journey. Once you learn a specific lesson in one part of the process, then you graduate to the next part of the process. It does get better and better, but until you get to that, um, that, that ultimate, whatever it is that God has been promising you concerning your marriage or concerning the first time of you and your spouse coming together, it's going to be some turbulence. And so many times, many times you're going to find that you have to sacrifice like um, biting your tongue, meaning not saying certain things that you may want to say. You may have to sacrifice like feeling a certain type of way. You may have to sacrifice being the bigger person, you know, and for some of you, that's hard because many of us, I'm going I'm to say that I dealt with pride real bad. OK, and so you want to have the last word. You feel that if the person, if, if my husband or wife has upset me, then I shouldn't be the first one to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't be the first one to make amends. They should be the first one. And yeah, that makes sense. But what if God is telling you? I know they told you that, you know, they didn't want to talk to you anymore. They didn't want to hear from you anymore. I still want you to go and text them and say, hey, I'm just checking on you. I hope everything is OK. How are you going to handle it? It's a sacrifice. It frustrates what you've learned or it, it, it frustrates every old toxic relationship that you may have been in or the old toxic marriage is coming with a sacrifice. It's a journey and it's a process, but it's building character in you. It's building your faith. And it's also showing your spouse the love of Christ. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You just got to get past those rough patches and that turbulence so that you can get to the good stuff. And no, it's never going to be perfect. It's, it's going to be a continued work for you and your spouse. Because if you're going to be with someone until death do you part, oh, baby, you better believe it ain't going to always be gumdrops and rainbows and, and honey and all of that good stuff, okay? It's going to have to be some sacrifices that you're going to have to make. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We have to surrender, surrender, surrender. Trust God. Be obedient to the process. Be patient with whatever it is that God is calling you to do because he has a plan and he loves you. And so we don't have to be afraid as we wait on God to fulfill his promise. As we wait on God to restore your marriage, we don't have to be um, fearful, fearful or anxious because God is not a man that he should lie and not the son of man that he needs to repent. And it's a song that came into my mind as I was in my time with God, just listening to the Lord tell me this blessing comes with a sacrifice and, you know, just how the journey has many ups and downs. God reminded me of that song that goes, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. So y'all bet not be turning back. Y'all said yes to God. You said yes to your marriage. You said yes to this process. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I feel the presence of God. You said yes. No turning back. You have already told God yes. And this is for your good and for your spouse's good too. And maybe some days it may not feel like it's good. But that's okay because you've already made a decision to follow Jesus. And at the end of all of this, you're going to be crowned. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We're walking out our, our salvation while we're living on earth. Yes, God. You will see heaven on earth. But it's going to come with some sacrifices. I can honestly say and I can attest to the fact that I am I have my, my life has changed since I decided to just go head first in all that God has said. It came with some ups and downs, with some sacrifices. I stepped out of my norm. It has been like many things that I'm just like, oh my gosh, like this is this is just different. But this is also one of the blessed times that I have ever seen in my life. But it's also been one of the most sacrificial times of my life. <laughs> so be encouraged in Jesus name. If if you don't feel like you're sacrificing anything, then you need to reevaluate whether or not you're really following Jesus. That's what the Lord just told me before I got on this camera and I was like, "Ooh, Mm, like if your life is just like you're comfortable with everything and you ain't really, you know, you're just, you know, then you need to kind of figure out with God, am I living my life to the best of my abilities according to how God has called me to live it? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I have a scripture that I want to share with you. It's Mark chapter eight, verses 34, and it reads, then calling to the crowd to join his disciples, he said, if any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross and follow me. Yes, God, if any one of you, if any of you wants to be my follower, I'm saying it again, just a certain part of it. You must give up your own way, take up your cross and follow me. If you want to follow Jesus, you got to give up your own way. You have to be willing to look crazy. You got to be willing to take a leap of faith. You got to be willing to seem a certain type of way. This is all for the glory of God. You're going to be uncomfortable living for Jesus. <laughs> you ain't going to be comfortable all the time. There will be comfortable moments. There will be blessed moments. There will be moments of bliss. But understand that this blessing comes with a sacrifice. Your marriage comes with a sacrifice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And if you need some encouragement, if you need some counsel, I do coaching. So I will leave my booking site in the description and in the comment section below.
But if you need to use Afterpay, meaning to split it up into four payments, then send me an email at propheticmarriage at gmail.com so that all you have to do is pay the, the first payment and then you can begin to have the session. And also, if you feel led to sow into this word, put into the comment section of your seed, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. And even if you don't decide to sow, put into the comment section of this video, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Just make sure that you put a prophetic declaration to let me know, let the world know, let yourself know, let the devil know that you are going to do what God has said. You are going to be willing to sacrifice whatever it is that God is calling you to sacrifice so that you can receive your blessing, so that you can live a life in Christ the way that he has ordained for you to live it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. And I want to thank everybody so much who has sown thus far. I pray that the Lord increases your seed a thousandfold in the mighty and miraculous name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And also, if you feel led to share this video with, with someone, share the video with a friend or a, a, a family member. Um, like the video if it has resonated with you in any way. Subscribe if you feel led. But I want to thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.